uh, guys, I am such a huge fan of the comic. So uh, just seeing this come to life was absolutely incredible. I have to say, I've done this junket thing many times now. And this is the first time that I've had both the originators of a comic on uh-huh. here, which tells me that it feels like this process was something a little more collaborative uh, than the usual, let me just buy the rights to your comic and go off and do my own thing. And I was wondering what it was like for the both of you and whether it was truly as collaborative as it felt like to me. I, w- I can't speak for any other comic properties that were made into movies by whoever, right? I mean, this is, right. I don't know. Um, I think this benefited from a couple things immediately. It benefited from the fact that I was allowed to write the screenplay for it and that the screenplay I wrote was one that our director, Gina prince Beith, would liked and, and, and yeah. continued to work with me on. And because the screenplay spoke to her, she made a point of picking up the graphic novel. And when she and I met the first time, she had it with her. Literally, the first questions out of her mouth, mouth were, this is in the comic, why didn't you put it in the screenplay? And, and And I think that carried uh, Gina all the way through. And the result of that is what you get on the screen. She was remarkably passionate about maintaining what she felt was the heart and the soul of the graphic novel. And and you see that in how she she treated Leo's visuals. Yeah, I I was just going to say, it really comes across because Leo, with all of your use of shadow, it's something she see, it seems like she borrowed for the screen as well. In many ways, you were the first cinematographer on this project. (laughs) I always say that there is a a little bit of a relationship between storytellers as we are in comic book and in movies. And it's a, a similar kind of job that we have as a comic book artist uh, related to a movie director, uh, with the difference that we are the obsessive guys who needs to have control of everything. <laughs> and that's why, yeah, I feel like everybody hates me at some point, but I can't <laughs> help it. I mean, everything that is on the page is, th- is there because I have to put it. And from there to the screen, the result is that I felt a lot of respect from that side. And I love what China have done. As I've heard, at sometimes the process could be, I try to keep my expectations low, but yeah. it was always for the best. And the final result was really good news. I did. Uh, gentlemen, uh, that's all the time I have. Uh, it's been short but sweet. Thank you so much. I am such a big fan. Greg, I wanted to say Stumptown is amazing. Oh, thank and I can't, you. Uh, I've been reading you since Gotham Central, so I can't wait for like everything else you've got coming out to you guys. <laughs> Get working thank on you. that sequel. But, no, yeah. we're, we're, we're hard at work. Thank you so much. We're, we're nice on that. Thank you. Thanks, See you later. Bye. Cheers.